Okay, so <laughs> I don't know where to even start. Hi guys, welcome back. This feels great. I am so happy to be back. You have no idea the guilt I have felt, not from anyone else, but from myself. For the last like four months, I have just been, one, a bit ashamed. I can't lie, guys. I have been, every time I look at my little picture of Girl Next Door, I have just felt a bit sad. There's like a hole in my heart and I have just kind of had to like patch that heart, that hole with like tissue and like pretend it doesn't exist and like patch it up because it has really hurt not being able to like do this. Um, the reason kind of why is like why I'm going to get into this episode is a number of different things and I've only just kind of started to piece it together and yeah I just thought now I am settled in my new job which I'm yet to talk about I need to like do a whole update with you guys because it's been four months it's been forever but I'm just case basically I'm just calling this season two I'm acting like this was planned because it definitely wasn't but I'm acting like it's planned so it's season two basically um but yeah so I've had to like basically act like it doesn't exist um because I really missed it and I think you know when something hurts that you haven't done it or you it feels like something's missing which it definitely has it's important to pick it back up no matter how long it's been and for me I there has been a lot of change for the for the last four months and I really have got to go back and to kind of analyze what was going on during these times I think overall kind of to sum it up was change (laughs) well well done I mean like (laughs) change in the way that I was moving house back I was moving back home so second year had finished and I was moving back to the family nest which I don't know about you guys but I tend to revert to my younger self when I go back home and that's a habit I really try and stop but for some reason I just click straight back into kind of the routine of like even though I help my mum out with dinner my dad and everything like that it's still mum does washing and I'm not afraid I'm although I do try my best with like helping her she still does so much for me which mum thank you I really appreciate because I know you're gonna be listening but I just do revert back to my old ways and that's old mindsets kind of not so eager to learn because maybe I just feel like everything's mapped out for me when I'm at home I don't really have to think about what's to come I don't have to think about what's for dinner I don't have to think about what I'm doing next because I just kind of potter around the house I maybe go to the gym but that's really not been on the cards recently and I'll hop onto that in later episodes and like the reasons behind that but I just wanted to come on here and kind of give a bit of like a hello I'm back and I've kind of grown and changed so much has happened um and I I feel like I keep saying that so much has happened so much has happened but it's honestly a lot has changed in these last four months and I'm like but you're like girl Katie come on get into it we want to talk we want to like hear you saying so much has changed but come on tell us then and it's one of those things where so much has changed again but nothing has changed in the same way so I looking at reflecting back on the last couple months I at home I really lost all drive or kind of like excitement to learn about myself or to learn about what makes me feel good I I wasn't trying new things I wasn't getting out there I was very I see I just reverted back to my small 
town lifestyle. And that is not what I'm here for. I'm here for growth, you know, trying new things, going new places, and kind of developing who I am as a person. And I think that wasn't happening at home. So everything just kind of came to a stop. So one, I didn't have anything to say. So the podcast was basically just going to be me basically bullshitting to the audience, excuse my language, but like, I couldn't authentically put a podcast out there when there was nothing to say or I didn't have anything like you know life change well, obviously this podcast I don't know it's not like life changing but I didn't have anything that I thought was worthwhile saying however upon reflection I think it might have been nice if I was to kind of be a bit more honest real and talk about maybe what I was going through rather than maybe giving my advice I just thought well, I, got, I haven't got any good advice right now, so I'll just not, I just won't post. When in fact, I think I should have maybe just been like, guys, I'm going through this. And maybe you guys could have related or not, but being at home is intense. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It, very, there's loads of pressure um, from both my parents. And then there's the comparison between the siblings. Well, I wanna say siblings, I just mean me and my brother, but still. I like it when, and I love my parents so much, but I do like it when I've got my own space. It's really important for me to kind of have that breathing space. I'm growing up to kind of, you know, sit with my own thoughts and feelings for a little bit. And that is one of the the many reasons why I basically had nothing to say that I thought was good. Number two, Along with that, so a not a completely different point, but still, I was struggling a little bit mentally as well. I had, this is like a couple months ago now, but I just didn't know like kind of who I was because I thought this podcast, I'm going to like, I'm going to be real. I honestly thought this podcast was a bit of a fail because I was thinking, shit, Katie, you haven't continued doing this. You haven't, you know, I thought I was going to be like consistent with it but I I have been, for, I did, I was for like four months and then I had a four month break and now season two is coming. But I did think it was a bit, um, I don't know what you call it. I didn't think I was, I could class myself as a podcast girl because of that I was, I haven't been consistent. So I felt a bit down and a bit like, okay then, well, that didn't work out. So I'm not worthy of this and I should never post on this. And I took a major break off of posting on Instagram and I tried to get back into it, but maybe jumped in a bit too soon. And maybe when I wasn't ready and that kind of, you know, there was a bit of a spanner in the works there because then I was on it and then I was off it again. But as you guys may or may not have known, I'm currently in London and I'm in a full-time job and I'm living on my own now. So it's been very intense these last couple of weeks and I really was inspired to kind of get back on the horse again and kind of carry on this podcast because it's like what I love. And like I said at the beginning of the episode, there was like a podcast shaped hole in my heart and I was trying to patch that up with like overcompensating with things that maybe I was like trying to put a a square peg in a round hole and nothing would have kind of filled that or made it better if I didn't start this again which I'm so good at what what which I'm so glad I did not good at um so that this is like a little reminder to you if there's anything that you have stopped for any reason and you feel like you've, you know, gone backwards or has been a bit of reversibility, whether that's gym, you know, and your hobby, podcast, Instagram, whatever you did and you might no longer do, you know, there's never a cutoff time where you can't start it again. And it doesn't make you a bad athlete or podcaster or gym goer. And you, you don't lose progress. You learn from it and maybe you adapt it slightly. So this is me right now. I'm on my podcast, as you obviously know, but I am, I haven't planned anything. So I'm literally just speaking from the heart, but okay. Now I've just lost my train of thought. (laughs) 
but what I was saying was, you know, you learn, you change and you adapt. So the, me podcasting this season might be slightly different to the last season because I realise now that there's other priorities, well, not other priorities, but I've realised now that maybe this is a priority and some other things aren't or I might put this second or I might do an episode when I feel like it because for me, having I could chat for England and what I don't want to do, I don't ever want to force doing a podcast because I think podcasts are so comforting well I find them so comforting just to listen to someone chat and they feel so like genuine like you're on a call with somebody so if they, if you're listening to kind of a forced chat about something I don't know I just think the ones where you're really inspired to chat they flow the best and you're more inclined to listen and not be tuned out or get bored but that is not the whole point in this podcast I was just kind of like this podcast isn't necessarily advice or anything it's literally just a life update um or a very brief introduction and yeah I don't know I think I'm also going to maybe do smaller and more frequent I don't know maybe that's the plan because sometimes I get quite daunted with the amount of editing and the time it takes to record that sometimes it consumes like a lot of my week because I had never edited any of this before. You guys know that this is a new thing of this year. So a podcast, like the podcasting journey has been up and down and that's okay, but I'm so glad to be back. I, I don't, I've only kind of covered a couple reasons why that I've been gone. I'm just trying to think of the other ones that maybe, I was on holiday for a lot of the time, but that's not really, that's more of an excuse rather than a reason as behind it. But I had a great holiday. Um, a little bit of a family drama, I don't say drama, family uh, stuff. Um, I don't know how you describe it, kind of bubbled up. And that was very difficult, I can't lie. It brought up a lot of trauma and on everyone's behalf. But I can tell you now that there has been growth and severe growth relationships in my family have got a million times better and stronger from it but that was on holiday and that was also a big toll on that was a big weight on my shoulders to be carrying around and having that like to process and everything like that so but I don't know how much I'm gonna like dip into that because it's quite like personal with me and my family I know I'm very honest on here um and that might come in future episodes i might just like you know mention it a bit more and um everything but yes there's been quite a lot of stuff and it's just trying to like what i'm really struggling with and still am is kind of working out where my priorities lie and because i'm very career focused i really want to you know be the best I can be in the sense that I want to work, work, work and, you know, have very little breaks and always be on the go and always be doing something for, like, my mental health or for my career or for a reason that, you know, often just gets a bit overwhelming sometimes and when you start to think about if everything's got to have a reason for it, your life seems very planned out and very um almost suffocating in a way because there's no like room for change or things like that so then I just went completely when I say off the rails I don't mean like off the rails off the rails but I just meant like so I went from planning everything and having a purpose basically a reason for everything I was doing in the day to then just stopping that and having no reason for doing anything like at all I was just floating and watching YouTube all day and or Instagram and just kind of wishing that I was posting again but I just didn't have the drive to do that and yeah so I went from one extreme to another and I think maybe that's again another reason why I should be a bit more easier on myself and not be so hot and cold all the time like I'm either really on or completely off um and that's something I'm really trying to work on is finding that middle ground you know just be 
steady but that's something I'm still gonna have to work on and yeah I don't know I think I've now been chatting for 15 minutes and it has come so naturally I feel like I could chat on for longer but I haven't planned anything other than me just kind of like chatting and kind of explaining where I've been for the last four months so I hope I've given you kind of a little bit of a uh, insight on what's gone on and maybe you can maybe relate and take something from this in the sense that if you have started something and stopped or you stop something you know it's never too late to kind of jump back on the horse because everything in life has different priorities and each stage you go in will make you realize something different and I think that's what I have taken from this and even when I'm recording a podcast it's basically I don't want to like toot my own horn (laughs) but it's like my type of therapy in the sense that I say it out loud and I listen obviously I listen to myself whilst I talk it resonates more because the voice in my head like or the voice in your head you can't tell which is a rational or irrational thought so when you say it out loud you can then like listen to yourself and think oh wait actually that's the right you know that's more rational than the other one so yeah sorry a bit of a kind of went off topic there but that is where i'm gonna leave today's episode you know never too late just to, to pick it back up where you started and it doesn't make you a failure at all and I'm gonna tell myself oh I'm gonna tell myself that because I'm not it actually shows strength that you get back on the horse and you don't like you know throw all the toys out your pram okay guys this has been amazing I'm very happy with this episode and I don't know when I'm gonna see you again but hopefully or speak to you again but hopefully it will be very soon I hope you've enjoyed Love you lots. Bye.